What I want to do is I want to just cut off the corners of this big hunk of styrofoam and it's kind of what I'm doing is putting in a false bottom. But I'm going to wedge this all the way down in here. I want it to be really wedged in there good. Now we're going to start with some fresh plants. Uh, one of the things I picked because I've always heard when you are planting a pot that you need a filler, a spiller, and a thriller. This red sweet pota potato vine was just perfect for my spiller and it will grow and fill over the edges. Then back here, I picked a couple of mums that will wedge right in here around my sweet potato vine and I can still water those. I had some plant, um, some artificial flowers like this orange hydrangea that I have used in some other things. And I had some scraps of um, dowel rods that I have used. So I just took and just put it right up next to that stem, just like so. And then I'm using, I don't want to use a bright green, so I'm using some brown floral tape. And then I bought some really cool things. I bought some beautiful silk leaves. And I'm going to take these and push these down in the middle of my styrofoam here. And I'll add it more over this direction. And you can see right here, you can see the pots right here, but don't worry, we'll take care of that. I have things like pumpkins that we're gonna add. I can feel that's going into the dirt. So I just picked up things that I thought were nice for fall and nice um, color but would raise up above. So you might have things that you can cut or live plants that you can use right in your yard that you could put into a pot like this. At this point, I think this was looking pretty good, but I wanted a little more something draping outside. And I had one of these inexpensive chain um, garland, leaf garlands left. So I'm just going to cut it apart and add some of these kind of dangling down like that all the way around the edge. But let me show you how that looks. Oh, this is just gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be a great addition to my front porch, so I'm gonna get it added out there. And here is my beautiful urn filled with mixed fall flowers and leaves and grasses and it just adds so much down here at the bottom of my steps. I'm so excited to add this to my fall decor. So I hope you like this project and it might be something that you wanna try adding. What I'm going to do is I took a scrap of styrofoam and fit it down in here and I wedged it really tight like so. And now I am going to set this right on top. Now I cut some little wedges of styrofoam. I didn't want you to listen to that screeching, so I turned that off. And I'm just going to tuck them right in here until that is really, really secure. So it passes the test, and we are ready to start decorating our topiary. The next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to head over to um, the Dollar Tree and pick up one of these garlands. And what I'm going to use to secure this is called an S-pin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and go around my cone here, kind of loosely and pin it to pin the garland to the cone. Not gonna worry about it being really thick because we are going to build this up with all of our fall decorations, but this will help get us started. As you get up towards the top, it's not going to be thick enough to handle the S-pins, so um, you're going to have to make sure that you push them down, not straight through, or they're going to poke out the other side and poke into you. So I'm just going to start. Um, I've got some pretty fall silk flowers, and I am just going to go ahead and poke this right into my foam tree. 
Now, if you don't have one of these fancy pick machines, and I probably should say these expensive pick machines, I wanna show you a couple other ideas for what you can do. One of the alternatives is wood wired sticks, okay? They look like this and you buy them in a bunch like this and pull them out. What you do is you put the wood wired stick up next to your stem and you take this wire and you wrap the wire around the stem really tightly and around the green stick. And the important part is at the end, you must wrap it just around the stick at least a couple of times and then that won't come off. See, I can stick this right in. Okay, so here is a leaf that has just a stem that's not firm enough to stick into our styrofoam. And what we're going to do, we only need a little bit of this skewer and we're gonna put that stick right up next to the leaf and then we're gonna take the floral tape and wrap it around the leaf and around the skewer and you're gonna stretch and turn. And now you will be able to add that really easily to your topiary. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep building this up. I will use a combination of my steel pick machine and the skewers. And again, I have some things like I bought some of these little pumpkins. They almost, they almost look like garlics, don't they? Um, that I'm going to add and they are on a thick enough, a stiff enough stem that I can just put them right into the foam like so. All right, and I'm, so you can watch and I will just go ahead and keep building up our topiary. So I thought I'd pull in here and show you how I'm finishing this up. The important thing about this is, is that you are happy with how it looks, okay? I, whenever I'm teaching anyone, I always say, um, if you don't like how it looks, particularly when you're working with artificials like this, take it apart and start over again. Nothing, nothing would be ruined. You, you could just, like I said, take it apart and start over again. Um, there's nothing that says you have to leave it the way it is. So, and you can see it coordinates with my other items on my mantle just beautifully. I'm so happy with how this turned out and I'm really glad I added the bittersweet around it. I think I'm going to have to add some bittersweet to my centerpiece here. And uh, interesting thing, this centerpiece on the mantle was actually over my door, over my front door last year. But here you can see how well it coordinates and the other end just has a couple of pumpkins stacked. So I hope you liked this and you are inspired to start getting ready for fall yourself. <laughs>